thank you for clicking on my video. If you're new here, my name is Ali. I am a digital artist and small business owner. I typically post all kinds of small business content, studio vlogs, art projects, all that fun stuff. So if that is something that interests you, stick around. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be doing like more of a sit down, chatty Q&A style video. I thought it would be really fun to get to know you guys a bit better and have that conversation. So I had you guys ask me some questions over on my Instagram so we're gonna go through some of those today but let me know in the comments if we have anything in common let me know if you have any other questions that I didn't answer I love talking to you guys so yeah let's just get right into it I wrote down a bunch of your questions in here so I can keep track but um, I had you guys ask me some personal questions and some business questions um, so starting off strong we have what is your Starbucks order? And I actually have some with me today, of course. If you follow me on Instagram at all, you know that I have a serious Starbucks addiction. But I actually order a few different drinks. This one is the Starbucks shaken espresso, just the plain one. Um, so I get that sometimes when I'm just feeling extra tired. But I also really like the vanilla sweet cream cold brew and I sometimes will get the nitro version. Okay, so on a more business related note, which I know is why a lot of you are watching, we will start with these questions. I feel like they kind of go hand in hand together. Um, so we'll start there. What inspired me to start my business? That is kind of complicated actually, because I really didn't have any sort of plans of starting a business that wasn't like anything that was even in my mind as a possibility because at the time I was teaching um, but I've always been super into crafts and art and all that stuff and I would watch a lot of YouTube videos of people who had crickets so I had that on like my little wish list and my husband actually got me a cricket for my birthday one year and I started making stickers on it just for fun just for myself um, and then I forget who but somebody was like you should make an Etsy shop and I did and I was doing that for a little while and then I started getting a little bit of traction on there and I had people asking me for like custom stuff. So I was just doing that for a little while, just on the side, just as kind of like a little creative hobby. And then from there, it kind of lined up perfectly with like all of the COVID shutdowns and stuff because um, my teaching job ended up sending us home. So I had a lot of free time on my hands. So. I went ahead and like put more energy into that Etsy shop just because you know I needed something to do and by the time that lockdown and everything was over I was making a decent amount on sales so that's kind of when I decided to go full-time with it it all happened super fast I know it's not like that for everyone um, but definitely just getting your foot in the door is super super helpful even if you just do it as like a side hobby just starting is like the first step so I feel like that could also go really well for um, the going from illustration to small business work. If you're already drawing, then there's a lot of different ways you can monetize the art that you're already making. You can either go the route that I did and do like an Etsy shop or something like that where you make the product yourself. Or there's other options. You can do like Redbubble, Society6, where you just upload your artwork and then um, they create the products and send it to your customers. So that's more like a passive income sort of direction. You could start there if you don't have the money or the funds to put into starting it yourself. If that's the direction you want to go in but you're not there yet, you can always start with the passive income sort of way and just have a manufacturer do all of that on that end for you. Um, so yeah, I think... Those are some really awesome ways to get your foot in the door. My Instagram really helped elevate a lot of my business along with TikTok. So getting yourself on social media is super important and super helpful. So I definitely recommend doing that. Advertise your artwork. Try a bunch of different things because not everything is going to work for everyone. And yeah, honestly, there's so many different ways that you can get into the small business world. That's just what worked for me, but I know there are so many other successful businesses out there that have their own story. So do what is right for you, do what is right for your budget, and honestly, just start is the best advice I can give. Just start. <laughs> this next one is kind of a loaded question for me because I feel like it goes so back and forth. I don't know if anyone else with a small business can relate to like missing your last career if you had like a career transition, but I definitely think some days I do miss teaching because it's 
I, I mean, I went to school for it. I have a degree in it. That is like what I plan to do with my life. And I love kids and I love like the lesson planning and creating all the resources and decorating my club. Like I miss all of that. I do. Um, I don't think that I want to go back to teaching because there are a lot of hard parts about teaching and a lot of things that I don't miss. I feel like some days I kind of focus in on the good parts that I do really miss and I kind of cloud over the parts that I didn't really enjoy about teaching. Um, but overall, having my small business and doing art and talking to you guys and just everything that I get to do now is just like my absolute dream job. And it's not even something that I had ever thought was possible for myself. So I wouldn't go back to teaching. I do kind of miss it some days, but I feel so grateful and so lucky that I get to do what I do. And I definitely want this for, you know, the rest of my career. I want to expand my business and just grow in that way. I grouped these two together because I feel like for me, they are kind of one in the same. I feel like one of my biggest challenges as a small business owner is that feeling of imposter syndrome is those like slow periods where I'm not seeing as many sales as I maybe was this time last year or like a month ago. I feel like there's always gonna be like dips, especially when you're first starting out and getting yourself established. So that can really, you know, contribute to that feeling of imposter syndrome, feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like um, this, this might not be for you. But I found that those feelings do pass and you just have to kind of remind yourself I do belong here like I am talented and people do like my stuff and a lot of it is comparing yourself to other small businesses or other things that you see online. The hard part about that is you don't know where on their journey those people are. You're comparing yourself to people who are five years in and you're two years in, you know, things like that. So. You really can't compare yourself. I know it's easier said than done, but I feel like a lot of that comparison is what leads to that imposter syndrome feeling. So I feel like taking a step back and hiding things if you need to, I feel like it's perfectly okay to unfollow or hide accounts that make you feel less than, and it's nothing against them. They are on their own journey just like you are, but it's also okay to look out for your own mental health. Um, so if you feel like you're getting to that point, take those steps and just cut those things out of your lives because you don't need to see it. You need to focus on your own journey, focus on your own growth because you are growing and just because it's not the same growth as somebody else doesn't mean that they are better than you. You are just on two separate paths and all of your little victories should be celebrated and you should be focusing on the things that you are doing right and the things that you can do to grow yourself um, and try really hard to stop that comparison because I feel like that is one of the biggest challenges, especially if you're a small business owner that is like focused in on social media like I am. Um, so yeah, you can cheer on other small businesses, you can be proud of their successes, but make sure you're being proud of your own successes too because you were working so hard for it and you deserve that cheer too. This is super fun. I absolutely love reading and I just got a library card recently so I've been checking out books from the library, which has been a game changer, I gotta say. Um, so I've been reading a lot of the Mary Kubica books lately. The one that I am currently on is called When the Lights Go Out. Um, so I'm getting through her books. I recently read, um, The Other Misses, which I really, really loved. This one I actually got from a new, like, little small business bookstore in my area. So I'm excited to start this one after I finish that one. But this one is called The Dead Romantics by Ashley... I think it's Poston. So this is gonna be my next read. So let me know what kind of books you guys are into. I really like like thrillers. I'm into um, dystopian style books and like futuristic sci-fi kind of books. So I've got kind of a big spectrum on what I'm interested in, but let me know if you have any good book recommendations. I am always looking for more books to read. When is my punch needle launch? The famous punch needle launch that I have been teasing since like July or August. I am actually working on it today. I have been just building up a whole collection 
of these punch needle coasters. I've got some keychains, I've got some car charms. You may have seen me making some of those in some of my vlogs. I, I don't know, I feel like I've been procrastinating and pushing it off because I am just like, I don't know, nervous that they're not good enough or something. I don't know, I don't know. But I've been working super hard. I'm gonna be taking pictures of them this week and the listings are gonna go up either towards the end of the month, early November time period. I promise, hold me to that. That is when the launch is gonna be. I am getting it ready. That is my next launch, 100%. So yeah. Stationery, oh my goodness you guys. I love me some stationery. I really do want to kind of take like a stationery direction with my business, but I'm thinking for stationery products in like the more near future. Um, I definitely want to get some more planners, different styles of planners, different sizes. I want to do just some like brain dumping, to-do list, checklist, like blank notepad sort of things just for jotting down anything. Um, so that's like near future sort of stuff. I actually just ordered a new stationery product that I have never had in the shop before. It's a notebook, but it's a little bit special. I kind of want it to be a surprise though, so I'm going to leave that one out. But for like longer term, I want to do like journals and sketchbooks and planners, like full planner book sort of things. Um, there's a lot of that that it takes to get into that. So those are things that are probably more distant stationery goals for me, but... I really like the direction I'm heading with the stationery. Okay, since we already kind of talked a little bit about some of my goals, we'll just go into that question next. Um, I would say for my business, aside from getting more stationery products out there, just growing, getting more manufactured products as opposed to handmade products. A lot of my products right now are handmade and I kind of want to steer in the direction of going through manufacturers more just to be able to get more products out quicker. One of my like huge, huge goals is I really want to publish like a guided journal style book. I want like my art, my lettering, and then like maybe some little prompts. I absolutely love those books and it would be like the coolest thing ever to have my art published in a book. That is like the ultimate goal for me, but that is super scary. Um, so I haven't really looked into it a lot. I know that I should, but that's one of my long-term goals. Another long-term goal would be to have my stuff in stores. I've been working on a wholesale shop. It's just kind of been on the back burner a little bit for me. So I really want to get more serious about that because seeing my stuff in stores would be super duper cool. I've toyed around with the idea of having like my own little storefront or like a little bus or something. So that's a possibility. I don't know if I want to go in that direction or not, but I do really like the idea of it. Um, so yeah, those are my like business goals. Um, personal goals. I really, I feel like I have like the most basic goals. I really want to buy a house and I want to be a mom, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that is my personal goals. Um, I also want to move back to the East Coast because right now I'm on the West Coast. I love it here. It's beautiful, but I miss my family. They're on the East Coast and I'm not going to lie to you, the cost of living out here is insane. <laughs> We're going to end things off here with what advice do I have for other small business owners because this is my most asked question for sure. Um, I think the biggest 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 thing is just consistency I know that you probably hear that a lot but being consistent in your products and posting about your products in communicating with your customers or potential clients consistency in everything is super key um that's like one of the things that was most important for me was consistently putting myself out there because as sad as it sounds, there's a lot of businesses out there and if you want your customer base or your potential customers to remember you, you need to keep putting your face out there. You need to keep putting your products out there. I find that putting your actual face out there is also really helpful because then your customers are able to connect with you on a more personal level and get to know you and you kind of become friends with them and it's really awesome and you build this amazing community and you want to support your friends. I personally want to support small businesses that I have a connection with, be it a personal friendship that we've formed or 
like things we have in common i feel like if you can connect to your audience they're gonna want to support you they're gonna want to support your business and that is super important make sure you are putting out quality products if that's like the type of business that you're running make sure you're putting out quality products make sure if you are in the wrong somewhere along the way you make it right because you want to make sure that your customers are feeling safe to order from you treat your customers the way you would want to be treated if it were you ordering from somewhere and you wanting that good experience and wanting to know that your money is being well spent and it's safe and it's a it's just a quality product all of that sort of thing building those quality products are gonna give you repeat customers they're gonna build trust with your customers and that is super important too the last bit of advice i think that i can give you is to just make sure that you are being totally authentic to yourself because there's going to be an audience for you for your designs for your interests for your color scheme whatever it may be make sure it feels right to you it feels authentic you're not forcing things because i feel like it kind of shows when you're forcing things if you've made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope that you learned something i hope that you enjoyed listening to me ramble a little bit let me know if you want more of these like chatty sit down style videos let me know if you have any other questions that i didn't answer because i know that we got through a lot in this video but there are still so many other things that could be talked about. So let me know. And if we have anything in common, I would love to chat with you, hear about that too. And I will see you on the next one.